Hello everybody, it's good to see you back. Today's tutorial is about Pinterest story pins. I'm going to be giving you step-by-step -step instructions about how to create a Pinterest story pin using Canva. I'm then going to walk you through how to use that template to create a Pinterest story pin via desktop. And then I'm going to show you how to do that via a smartphone. There are really subtle differences about how you can upload a Pinterest story pin via desktop and via your smartphone, so please stay watching. I'm also going to be sharing with you a couple of my own little ninja tips. I'll also be giving you a link to the exact same camera template which I use to get results like this on Pinterest. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Pinterest recommends that you use a template 900 pixels wide by 1600 pixels. You can use up to 20 story pins. Use a combination of images and videos, but ensure that videos are no more than 20 seconds in duration. Add your title first because it's easier to see the text. Your story title is only visible on a smartphone. Upload your photos or just drag and drop them from a folder. The first pin you upload will be your story pin cover. I'll talk to you about adding text overlay a little later on, so keep watching. Once you've finished your story pin cover, you can then continue to add pins to your story. Add a page title, a page description, and that all-important link for lead generation. Please note this white box is visible on all devices and will cover your template.
you should finish off with a powerful call to action so that you can generate as many leads as possible. Now that we've done that, let me show you how I upload a Pinterest story pin template via my smartphone. Now I'm using an Android smartphone, so those of you who have iPhone might have a slightly different experience. So now for that little ninja tip that I was promising you at the start of this video. 
Personally, I would prefer to create any text overlay in Canva because you can use your own brand visual style. You can also use your own brand colors and position the text exactly where you want it to be. And this is why the template I'm going to share with you is so useful because I've taken the time to work out exactly where the safe areas are. So using my template, you can see exactly where to include all the essential elements on your template. To get your free Canva template, just click the link, which I'll leave in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, please do let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer your queries. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.